What is randomization? Here at Lurie Children's Hospital, you can volunteer to participate in a research study and become a VIP, a very important participant. There are different types of research studies. One type of study compares a new treatment to other current treatments that are already in use now. Let's say that in this study, doctors have one new medicine and three current medicines they already use now. Let's call these current medicines A, B, and C. The doctors want to find out if the new medicine is better or worse or the same as current medicines. How do the doctors answer this question? What they need to do is take a group of VIPs and give the new medicine to some VIPs and give the other medicines to the rest. But which VIP gets which? The researchers will use a process called randomization. You can think of randomization like shuffling a deck of playing cards. When you shuffle the cards, you are mixing them up into a random order. When the cards are dealt out in this random way, the order of the cards is not controlled by the dealer or by the players. This is very similar to how researchers divide up a group of patients for research using randomization. You can imagine each VIP getting a card from a randomized deck that has been shuffled. And then, the VIPs are divided into groups based on which card they get. In this example, all VIPs with diamonds will get the new medicine, and each of the other groups are assigned one of the other medicines. Randomization helps researchers compare the results of different treatments to each other. They might do this without knowing which treatment each group received. Sometimes, the only way for researchers to find out if new treatments are effective is to compare them to no treatment at all. Researchers do this using a placebo. A placebo is something that looks the same as the real treatments. But a placebo does not have any active ingredients. For example, it might look like a pill, but it would not have any medicine. The reason they look the same is so that neither the researcher nor the VIP know which treatment they are getting. A placebo is only used when there is not enough proof to show that any other treatment works. Researchers would never take away a treatment that they know works just to give a placebo. In a study with a placebo, the randomization works the same. Some VIPs will be randomized to the placebo group, and some will be randomized into the treatment groups. Okay, VIP, now that you have learned about randomization, you can ask the study doctor or research team questions you have about this or any other topic. Some questions you might have include, Is it better to be in one group or the other? Why am I not allowed to pick or know which treatment I get? What other options are there? Thank you for being a very important participant. If you have any questions, please ask your study team.